Hey guys, Dr. Lara here. Today I am here with Toby and the topic of the video today is going to be the most common causes of diarrhea. Stay tuned and we'll figure them out. All right, so most common causes of diarrhea and how we kind of go about them. So first things first, um, intestinal parasites is going to be one of the most common causes of uh, diarrhea. And so intestinal parasites are worms that typically are going to be transmitted through um, other dogs' poop. And you're not going to be able to see it. it and usually you won't be able to see it in your dog's poop. And you won't be able to see it when your dog is getting it. Uh, the reason being is because the eggs are microscopic and they're gonna be in the grass. It'll be from residue from somebody else's poop and your dog will be sniffing it because they smell the poop. They get the wet, the dew from the grass on their nose with the poop on it. They lick their nose and now they've ingested the parasite. So that's probably one of the top reasons how your dogs will get parasite um, diarrhea. Two, um, probably those two are, these two are tied, is going to be eating something outside of their normal diet. So whether that's giving them the pizza crust, potato chips, um, you know, chicken, lamb chop, ribs, uh, chicken wing bones. These are things that if your dog is not used to eating them can and will most likely cause your dogs to have diarrhea. My dogs have food allergies. So if your dogs have a sensitive stomach, if they're farting, um, if they're farting, unless they're English Bulldogs or French Bulldogs, most dogs should not really be farting. So that is an indication to you that your dogs do have a sensitive stomach. And if the diarrhea, blowout diarrhea was not a dead giveaway, um, the farting is something that tells you that your dogs do have a sensitive stomach and you'll need to be really consistent with their diets. Three is going to be foreign body ingestion. So that's stuff like mulch, toys, twigs, rocks, whatever stuff that dogs like to get into um, that they shouldn't be getting into. Four could be medication. Um, if your dog has gotten new medications, that is something that um, could definitely be causing diarrhea. Um, so if it is something that you've noticed that your dog has started having uh, diarrhea, and when I say diarrhea, I mean like soft stool. I don't mean, it doesn't have to be pure liquid. It could just be anything out of the normal. Um, so that is something to keep in mind. Um, if your dog is developing some, some sort of soft stool after being put on a medication, please let your dogs know, or your veterinarian know rather, so that way it's something we can put in the chart. Um, a new bag of food is something that could potentially cause soft stool. So I'm not talking about a different brand or a different flavor, I'm just talking about a new bag. So if you have a change in the consistency of the stool and you have opened a new bag of food within the last five to seven days, Thank you for giving us a little bit of an earthquake effect figment. Um, she's rubbing on the tripod. Yes, I'm talking to you. Um, the <laughs> the um, other thing that could potentially cause uh, diarrhea would be a vaccine. So having a vaccine can definitely be uh, the cause of diarrhea. Um, usually it should only be maybe one episode if your dog is having consistent diarrhea after receiving a vaccine. You definitely want to let your veterinarian know. A, for treatment, and B, also for us to go ahead and mark it in the chart so that way we can see what we can do to try and prevent that from happening next time around. If we choose to go ahead, figment, <laughs> if we choose to go ahead and um, administer the vaccine next time around. Um, finally, the last thing that comes to mind uh, when we're talking about causes of diarrhea could be anesthesia. Anesthesia or sedation could potentially cause soft stool or liquid stool in your dog. Um, if you're noticing that, please let your veterinarian know. We definitely want them to be as comfortable as possible and we want to try and manage the variables that are going to cause your dog to not feel well after sedation. So if your dog is having diarrhea, that could potentially make them have uh, a loss of fluids more than they should, which would lead to dehydration. We really don't want that to be going on. So if you do notice that, I'll notice that sometimes on our patients when they're under anesthesia, we'll, we'll notice some soft stool. And I'll usually send clients home with the medication to manage the soft stool. Um, so that way we can kind of keep that under control. If you guys found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe. If you know somebody who needs to watch it, please share it with them. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day.